Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Bighorn uh, White River Fly Rod Combo. Uh, this can be found at Cabela's or Bass Pro for about $99. It's an entry level combo rod um, that Cabela's and Bass Pro provide. And it is what I think the best uh, fly rod for learning um, in terms of quality and price. So I myself am brand new to fly fishing. I haven't done much. Um, caught a couple freshwater species here and there and a couple saltwater uh, species here and there. This eight weight reel combo has done a fantastic job for getting me to learn how to use a fly rod for me to, I guess, eventually graduate into a more premium rod. Um, the uh, combo itself, I believe, runs for, yeah, $99. Um, it can also come with this travel bag or case for an extra, I believe, $45, and it is pretty solid. Um, and great material. And then also you can get a sleeve for the eight weight White River um, for I think about $12, which is actually really important and we'll get to why this is so important. So I kind of want to talk about how this rod has been great for me in terms of uh, usability, the quality of it, and how convenient it was to get started um, as an entry level fisherman like I am. Um, very easy to kind of walk into a Cabela's, grab something off the shelf and start fishing. If you go to like a niche place or you go and invest in a really high quality product, it can get really overwhelming, especially fly fishing. So I think this is really convenient. You can just grab it and go try it catching a fish or look at YouTube videos and learn how to throw a fly rod. Um, in terms of quality of the product for the price, I think that's probably where it gets a five out of five um, in terms of stars. Uh, mostly because I can give you personal uh, first-hand experience. When I first started looking for a fly rod that was under $100, it was a nightmare. Um, I had purchased a couple off Amazon. Um, at first I thought they were good, then I walked into a Bass Pro and held one of these and I could tell right off the bat it was not good. I don't remember the brand, nor do I want to bash any brands on Amazon, but the uh, rod that I got on Amazon was about $75 more or less and it was about half the quality this is for $99. So, in terms of quality, usability, um, ease of just grabbing it and getting started, I don't think you could you know, beat going to Bass Pro. Plus, you don't have to wait on a delivery. You can go to your local Cabela's or local Bass Pro um, and get started. I went with the eight weight. If you plan on doing a lot of you know, heavier fishing, like let's say saltwater inshore, snow, tarpon, um, or you guys up north, redfish, I think the eight weight is definitely a great uh, place to start. If you plan on doing more freshwater stuff, stuff like peacock bass, largemouth, stuff like that, you might want to find yourself with a four or five weight. Um, I do find that the eight weight is a little bit overkill for the freshwater stuff. Um, here in Florida, we do get really big, uh, hard fighting peacock bass. So the eight weight could hold itself in freshwater, but realistically four to five weight if you're in freshwater is probably the best route to go. Um, another cool part of this rod it breaks up into four pieces. So let's say you're going you know, on a trip, you're gonna fly somewhere. Um, this will break up in four pieces like most you know, fly rods do. Um, I, I don't know, I've had some people tell me that's a more premium aspect. Some of them only break down to three pieces. I don't know. But uh, this one does break into four. It actually fits really nicely into the uh, White River travel bag. Um, I don't know if it's, I'm just being nerdy about it, but it, it is cool to have all the products in the same you know, uh, brand, it's all White River. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. And for the price as well, the travel bag that I got with that $75 Amazon uh, package, it was good, but it was not too great. You know, this part right here is solid as a rock on the White River. Um, on that other case that I bought for, I think it was like $35, and this one's 45. The $35 Amazon one, this part here had like gaps. So it wasn't like one solid tube like this is and the zipper kept on getting caught on itself and the cotton and the nips were starting to nip out and long story short within five days i'm sorry five uses it was already looking really bad despite me still having the tag on this i just have not taken it out um, i have already used this about five to six times and it has done a great job um, in terms of traveling to another location uh, fishing new spots that rod packs up very nicely in here um, and it actually even has like this nice cotton uh, inner layer to protect the reel um, and I think if you even get a more premium rod in the future this case will still serve its purpose so might as well get a high quality case 
Um, and this White River case is definitely pretty high quality uh, and will hold all my fly rods to come, not just my entry level rod as I'm learning. It's also got a nice little strap that you can hold on to um, and it has a really good feel to it. Um, you could also elongate this and put it around your back and um, it's actually really comfortable and I love that forest green color. Um, and it also, you know, not to mention, I know I've talked a lot about this bag. If you catch a fish and you have a very slicky and like sticky hands, when you grab this, it doesn't leave any residue or stain and it's pretty water wicking. So fun fact, I actually dropped this half into the water and when I pulled it out, it was still pretty dry. So I don't know if they have a water wicking thing on here or I just grabbed it very quick, but it stays really dry um, for what it's worth. Also, this little sleeve, I know it seems very nonchalant, normal, um, and very insignificant, but it is actually my favorite part of all of this um, because of the purpose that it serves. If you're traveling from spot to spot, you're not 100% sure that you're gonna stick in one area or even you're on the boat and you wanna put the fly rod down for a second, this sleeve will save you in the long run to protect your reel. So if you don't feel like collapsing this into four pieces, removing all of the uh, line down to the reel, uh, taping it down and then putting it in the bag every time you move to a spot, this is your best friend. So all you do with this, this is a White River sleeve um, for the eight weight. You would simply pull this line up a little bit. So you just get a little bit of drag, pull this line up a little, put this directly in, and this will now protect uh, your reel in the case that you are moving to a different location um, and it's a little bit snug. I think I might have to go a size up, but basically all it does is protect your reel. So if you're moving around, you're slamming the reel down, your reel is staying safe and protected without you having to collapse this whole thing down and remove the line and retie every single time. So it's a great way to protect the reel and it saves you a lot of time. Um, and it only costs $12 and it's also part of the uh, White River combo. I've seen some Cabela's will set you up with all three of these uh, for one price. I don't know what that one price is, but they'll kind of get you started with everything you need. Um, if you're just getting into the sport, you're going to start getting really pissed when you're throwing this in the back of the truck. You drop it on the floor and it starts getting all these little scratches, nicks, and whatnot. It just gets really annoying, so that piece is fantastic. Uh, in terms of the rod itself, this is the 8 weight. It's the 9 foot series. Um, and it is like we discussed the four piece. So very smooth feel to it. When I started fighting um, a peacock bass the other day, I was kind of skeptical of the rod itself, but then I realized I just had the drag on too tight. So as I started loosening up the drag, I noticed how um, close and convenient it is to uh, right where your hand will be when you're fighting the fish. So I thought that was really nice. It's got a very buttery smooth feel to it. Um, that $75 Amazon rod, it almost felt like a jagged, you know, knife and bag of rocks when it was getting pulled by a fish. It had a very rugged feel to it and it felt very, um, you know, just rugged. This has a very smooth and fine feel when it pulls. And for the price difference from $75 to $99, I think it's a no brainer to just go with something that's a little bit smoother um, on, the, on the hands. Uh, in terms of the overall usability, I thought it was very easy to learn um, how to use the Bighorn fly rod. And it also has a cool appeal to it. I know it's something silly to think about, but the way the rod looks is very nice in comparison to that $75 rod. That $75 rod did not go the extra mile to have like these nice imprints. Um, it's got a cool logo of a fly right here, which I think is pretty neat. Um, it's got the cork bottom right here instead of just ending directly right under. Um, the cork right here feels a lot more premium. The other one almost felt like plastic, like the cork felt like plastic. And the overall weight to the rod is just a lot nicer. Um, and with, I think even this rod produces more guides um, down the actual rod itself, giving it a more accurate and uh, realistic uh, form of what a premium uh, rod will feel like. Once you guys graduate from the way you purchase this off the Cabela's or Bass Pro shelf, uh, eventually, you don't even have to um, completely buy a new product or a new rod. All you have to do eventually would be probably chain the line out for a more premium line. I know some people um, have told me that you could get better line to help you cast. 
um, a little bit further once you start um, advancing in the uh, fly rod uh, realm, fly fishing realm. But like I said, I'm brand new to the sport, so for me, I kind of just want to, you know, cover my experience with a entry level fly rod um, and why I think this is probably the best bet if you're getting into um, the sport. So very easy uh, to use overall. Um, definitely, like I said, if you start getting better, all you could do is switch out this line and you have a whole new rod and great bones to work with. Um, so overall, I definitely recommend this and do not forget to purchase your sleeve. Um, it is very important as you're traveling, you want that reel to last. So that's my review, guys. Like I said, if you're just getting into the sport, I think this is a great way to start. Um, go to your local Bass Pro or Cabela's and you'll see this offered for probably around $99. Thank you and subscribe.